guys, Defected Zombie here, and we're back with our second topic for the day! Oh, no. I hate that noise. Why? Why? Um, so... With the current rise of BDSM constantly being brought up in news articles, uh being brought up in news articles like this whole incident with R. Kelly and sex cults, there has been a lot of people speculating about it, um, not seeming to fully understand what it is. That being said, I want to address that I have been in the LS since the mid-90s. Well, before that, well before Fifty Shades, uh, well before Fifty Shades of Grey was even released or published. This is what I was taught and personally believe about the LS. I was taught that you should grab your menus when menus appear. Take those menus and put them in the spinning rack and then serve people the dinner. Oh. That's not what I was taught in the slightest. Okay. Grab that, grab that, grab that. Do, 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 do. There we go. I have- okay, so there are multiple ways in which people explore or participate in the LS. For those who don't really know what LS stands for, it means lifestyle. As far as I was told and thought. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No. Dang it. I missed my podium. Okay, so let's go ahead and get you up there. Let's get... <laughs> Trying to get that spin the correct way is really annoying. Got him just in time. Do, 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 do. Oh, my dear podium, how I miss you. I long for you, my dear podium. This is really bad. I don't know how I possibly could have done this any faster. Rad. Get away. No. You're invading my personal number. My brother keeps messaging me on Steam in case you're wondering what in the world I'm on about. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think we're gonna make this. I'm gonna have to redo this one. Uh, that's okay, I guess. Could have been worse. If we do make it, it'll be very close. I think I say that in every episode now. So, where were we? Yep. Nope. I'm gonna redo that. Anyways, there are multiple ways in which people explore or participate in the LS. BDSM is one, but not all of it. Some of the LS is entirely non- What? What? Oh, why? Can <laughs> what? What has happened here? I don't understand! Okay! <laughs> 
Day. Ugh. I feel like somebody has my name on that post-it note somewhere. <laughs> and that there's just like these weird little gremlin guys just like messing with me. And like soon I'm gonna be visited by a person who, who was killed by having a toilet seat dropped on their head. For those of you who don't get that reference, it's from Dead Like Me. It's a wonderful TV show. I highly recommend it. Oh, man. Let's quickly nip down here. Uh... Okay. However, regardless of which part of the LS is looked at, it's all about a therapeutic safe place to explore and discover one's own self. In most cases, the people who come into the LS do so because they seek a guide or a support. A rock, if you will. Sometimes it's because they, for a while, need to just not be in control of anything or feel like they can't trust themselves. Or sometimes it can even come from a dark place where the sub feels like they don't deserve to stand on their own two feet for some reason, having to do with their past. In some cases in BDSM, the same can apply. It all comes down to confidence building, guiding and teaching and providing a safe sanctuary. Now I'm going to quickly clear the tables so we can move in. Okay, let's see. Who all do we need this time? No, you're not allowed to leave. Let's see if I can quickly set these guys down. Oh, wonderful. That worked out well. Boom. Um. Hmm. Let's go ahead and get those put there. And might as well get them put there. go quickly nip back down here okay i think we're actually doing really good on this level that's how it always starts then it gets progressively worse and then it's like full extreme panic mode anyways one way to think about it is an emotional spa where you are able to shut off your inner demons by letting someone else take <laughs> over fighting them. Breaking it down a bit further, there is also a difference between a dom and a master and a sub and a slave. A lot of people keep mentioning doms when they're describing a master-slave relationship. Uh oh uh oh uh oh no! No! <laughs> we were doing so good! Shoot! 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 Oh man, okay. That was my bad. I was not paying enough attention. Ah! Oh, why? Why? Why do you do this to me? 
Okay, breaking it down further, let's look at the differences between a dog and sub. At least, like I mentioned before, this is what I was taught and how I was raised into the LS. A dom sub. A dom is meant to be more of the foundation or support. Or a dom sub. A dom is meant to be more of a foundation or support, like a guide and a teacher to their sub. Meant to provide a safe sanctuary within themselves for their sub to mentally, emotionally, and sometimes, not always physically, be able to retreat to while they work on finding themselves overcoming their in inner demons, so on and so forth. In order for a dom-sub relationship to work, it requires a deep connection, 100% open and honest communication, and the ability to transcend with a person past the typical levels of comfort. One might normally have that could prevent them from being 100% open. This requires the dom to also be able to take on and handle this type of therapeutic task. They also need to be 100% open and honest because nothing is more important for earning their sub's trust. A true dom knows they have to earn the trust of a sub, not demand it. Okay, let's quickly go ahead and start placing people. Uh, let's see. Yep, that's who I want to place there. That's who I want to place there. Actually, let's quickly go ahead and put them there. There we go. Quickly get this down here. Come on, we got this, we got this, we got this. Boom. Now that. Multitasking to the extreme. And quickly get this. We got this, come on. Perfect. Okay, let's do this. These are the ones I'm starting to worry about. There we go. No leaving. Look, I'll put you in this seat. You're happy now. You have happy faces. Okay, there. Good. Wonderful. Not allowed to leave. No leaving for you. No, no, no. It's bad, bad, bad. See, look. Ah, oh, thank God. Oop. Okay, come on, come on, come on. You can do this. You can do it. Come on, flow. Flow. You've got this. doing <laughs> uh. okay quickly 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 come on flow come on flow <laughs> wonderful good job flow let's get 
getting a bit, wee bit intense in here. Might as well go with that. Um. I'm gonna wait to do. Yeah, I'm just gonna quickly get these guys out of the way. I'm just buying them themselves. Do 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 do. -do. I think we're going to be okay this time. Whew. So, the next thing to move on to here, since everything in the current conversation has been about BDSM, I'm going to move into um, a bit about the master-slave relationship, because that has been coming into question a lot and whatnot. So, Master Slave is often more sexual based and focused. <laughs> Go away, Sarah. Uh, more often sexual based and focused, but again, not always in a case like this. It's less about teamwork and more about one side having ultimate say and power and expectations of certain powers or roles. <laughs> this is where you're more likely to find a master to come home and expect a slave to be knelt waiting for him or in some other desired position. It is very rule and control based, which some can seem abusive from an outsider. This, however, in its own way can be also seen as or be done so for therapeutic reasons. Sometimes a person who desires to be a slave does so because they need or want or crave the structure. They need someone to be able to have the control over them to force them to stick with their structure and schedules. It can be seen as giving your everything to a person with the intent of letting them take over you completely. Do you so they can take care of you like do they can take care of you what did i write okay we're gonna quickly 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 <laughs> nip through this part yeah might as well and boom boom Do, 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 do. Awesome. Looks like we had expert. Wonderful. Okay. Let's see, where was I? So letting them take over you completely so they can take care of you and in a matter of speaking micromanage you. For some of this, this can be very freeing. A dom can be a master when needed. Oftentimes the master-slave relationship can be very titillizing, like foreplay. Okay, so titillizing like foreplay, which can lead to more progressed sessions. But no matter what, the motto is safe. Both parties need to feel safe, need to feel that they are in a place of trust, that no mental, mental, emotional, or physical beyond what they can handle harm will come to them. More so emotional and mental. mental. Sane. 
Again, you're dealing with a type of play or relationship that does and will borderline the edge of healthy to unhealthy mentally and emotionally. Though the ultimate goal is to gradually build up to the to more across the border of the healthier on the healthier side by creating a safe place to grow and overcome and face hardship. It starts on the border that is extremely fragile. Saying is being or er, saying is about being able to maintain Sorry. Sane is about being able to maintain that very perspective and not lose sight of it. That and not lose sight of that in the heat of the moment. In the case of a dom or master being responsible to determine being okay, sorry. In the case of a dom or master being responsible to determine that a request or situation doesn't break the boundaries. This is why people from the actual LS had an issue with Fifty Shades of Grey. The spanking scene. No matter how much she told him to do it, never should have happened. He knew she wasn't ready, and instead of sending her back to her room and comforting her, he puffed his chest to make an example of her. Christian in the series is a sub who is not ready to switch to a dom status, as he himself needs a dom to help him face his own inner demons, which he clearly hasn't. Saying being able to not let your inner demons compromise safety, or saying being able to not let your inner demons compromise safety. Consent, anything and everything absolutely must be discussed at large lengths. Both parties need to absolutely be on the same page. There can be the illusion of surprises, but no actual surprises. Again, because the above-mentioned border between healthy and non is so thin, it has to be protected at all costs. And the best way to do that is to make it as transparent as possible by laying all cards out on the table. This also allows a master to be able to know what they need to for the sake of sanity and safety. I haven't read the full article about R. Kelly and his sex cults, and I actually have no intention to do so. Um, my goal here is simply to provide a much needed breakdown of what some people don't seem to understand about the LS, um, and based off of what I've learned and, you know, been exposed to in the LS, um, from this, you know, feel free to go back to the R. Kelly article, reread it, see if it gives you some new perspective of why it's not okay, or maybe why it's not necessarily BDSM from what I've heard about it. It certainly sounds, doesn't sound like it, which is what is going to lead me into my final note here. Um, the LS is and can be a very attractive or desired hub for people who want the rewards, the most common thought of a volatile person. Dude, I could have a girl give me blowjobs on command or pander to how I want them. How I want them. They can cook and clean while I play my video games? Sweet. The LS on the surface looks like a way to recreate slavery. I mean, heck, who doesn't love the idea of a personal assistant who handles everything you tell them from laundry to sex? That being said, since the rise of Fifty Shades, as well as whatever that book series was, including Gurian and Gore, people have flocked to the LS not always understanding fully what it is or about. And as said above, when you are Dealing with something so fragile and delicate, it can really mess up a person if not handled correctly and professionally. People come in not realizing that and hurting a lot of subs and slaves. Not to mention the truth behind the perverted image of the LS. And on that note, I'm opening up to the floor to you guys. If you happen to have your own experiences with um, the LS or BDSM, please do share. Uh, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and if you do happen to do so, welcome to the community. Um, I'm curious to hear what you guys say. And remember, if you don't agree with something that I've said, feel free to let me know. Um, I always respect criticism, as long as it's constructive. Um, and yeah, so opening the floor to you guys and I'll see you guys next time. This one went so much smoother than the last video. <laughs> <laughs> I 
every time I start recording, here are my stickers! <laughs> no! <laughs> I need to go through and fix my, my key bindings, apparently. Anyways, so I am adding this little excerpt to the end of our last video. Um, something I wanted to bring to the community's attention is this artist, and for those of you wondering where the song from the beginning of the video came from, it came from this video. Did I say that right? I, I don't even know, my brain got all conjomplerated. Um, quickly, I wanted to quickly mention before I get into why I'm recording this, that uh be sure to look out for our next upcoming video i'm not exactly happy about the fact that i'm going to be recording that video um i really didn't want to get into that on this channel um i, I really didn't want to get into it at all to be honest i kind of wanted it to be done like three months ago um However, I decided that, especially if any of you are watching this who have come from the video that I'm about to do in the next video, um, I will be in, I will end up recording that because of, well, you'll have to watch it to find out. However, this right here is a prime example of everything done right when it comes to a community, when it comes to addressing your fans, when it comes to anything of the sort. And so there um, there will definitely be some relevance to the two videos that I will be uploading this afternoon, this evening, in 5 o'clock a.m. in the morning. Anyways, moving on. So, I wanted to talk real quickly about Precious Child um, and the song My Little Problem. As I mentioned, it was used at the beginning of this video and it will be used in the credits. Um, what on earth? Oh, it's the cat. Um, I just randomly kept hearing this really loud ripping noise coming from behind me. It was kind of unnerving. I was... Uh, watching horror movies all night, so <laughs> ripping, random ripping noises coming out of the darkness, kind of, yeah, I'm just, yep, moving on. Anyways, as you can see, the first comment from the comment section of this video is me saying, I almost adore this song as much as I adore the artist. I then proceeded to ask the artist, <laughs> Precious, I was curious if I could use a small 10 second clip of this song, audio, not video, uh, for an intro for one of my videos, non-monetized on my channel. I want to also address and link to this video in the video I'd be uploading, XD. Yes, I'm going to just randomly read my XDs out loud. If I can end... If I, oh, okay, I see what I did there. If I can, the end of this video is going to turn into me awkwardly fangirling and recommending this video to everyone, XD. I was originally going to go with another song, but I'd much rather use it as an opportunity to get the word out about you and your music. And that is what I am doing. Uh, Precious came back and responded, DZ's Hive Mind Vision, please do. I would be quite flattered. You can download the song from PreciousChild.com uh, slash music. I almost said hashtag music. Um, or just rip it from the video. I, of course, responded, I love you. You are so awesome. And now I just kind of want to scroll down for a little bit, and I just wanted to showcase, um that if you go down through the videos of Precious Child, you can see that they respond to their fan base, they, they, to their community. Um, I've never seen, well, okay, I have seen some, but not all, not a lot, um, artists who have actually take the time and understand, and we've talked about this a bit on the channel, understand the true meaning and understanding of viewership and fan base and community. 
and Precious Child honestly just right off the bat amazes me because they get that and you can see it in their responses to their to their fan base you can see it in the fact that they take the time to actually go and answer their fans and the people who talk to them the people who ask them questions they respond and so i wanted to just make mention of that and if you're looking for some interesting music and some interesting music videos to watch and some type of new music to listen to look up precious child because you can't go wrong you can't go wrong with a person who understands the true value of fan base of viewers of community all of it and as i've said it in a, several of my comments below precious day precious because you are absolutely amazing and it, it is so wonderful to see that people out there still get that still get the importance of community still get the importance of of making sure that people feel heard and and feel feel listened to and and leading by a good example overall that that just it blew my mind i i saw the music video circulating facebook a few months ago and i was like what in the world am i watching and so for whatever reason i just couldn't stop staring and then about like two days later i got the song stuck in my head and i went back and i looked up the video again and was watching the video and this time i had gone through youtube to find the video and when i came through youtube i found all of the comments and i went through the comments to see what other people were saying who else had come here from facebook so on and so forth and as i was going through the comments there was precious answering the fan base talking to the community and i was just i was enthralled i not only was hooked on the song but i was hooked on the artist because as i said and i'll say it again it is rare to see somebody who understands the value of their viewership and their fan base and if you watch the next video you'll understand where that connection just came from um because unfortunately one of the things we will be discussing tonight is somebody who you could say is almost the polar opposite of of this little uh insert to the la or into the previous video or into the current video Blah. um unfortunately like i said not it is rare that somebody understands that and so that is something we will be addressing in the next video and i hope to see you guys there and if you're catching this because you came from the previous video then hopefully you catch what i'm talking about from watching that one first okay